Hello friends, welcome to the Breaking News 247 channel, in this video I would like to send you the following content, if there were ever a time to join us, it is now. Every contribution, however big or small, powers our journalism and sustains our future. Manchester United's teenage prodigy heralds an incredibly bright and exciting future. Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder will get one final look each other tonight as they take to the scales, but what time does the weigh-in start and how can you watch it? Few football clubs can say that they have had the honor of schooling as many big-name players through their academy system as Manchester United. Down the years, the Reds, who will resume their Premier League campaign with a trip to the King Power Stadium to face Leicester City next weekend, have had the honor of producing some of the greatest football has ever seen, from Ryan Giggs to David Beckham, and from Marcus Rashford to current sensation Mason Greenwood. Arguably, Greenwood is one of the most exciting prospects to have emerged from United's academy in recent years, with the likes of goalkeeper Dean Henderson, midfield enforcer Scott McDominay and attacking midfielder Jesse Lingard amongst those in the current squad to have risen through the ranks at Carrington. As such, exciting attacking midfielder Ethan Ennis is now being tipped to follow in their footsteps. The first-year scholar has made it on to the Guardian's Next Generation 2021, 20 of the best talents at Premier League clubs list, alongside several other exciting youngsters who, one day, will be hoping to see their name up in lights as a seasoned Premier League player. Ennis joined United during the summer after leaving Liverpool, despite being close to heading south to join Chelsea. The 16-year-old, who made a name for himself last season by scoring a 15-minute hat-trick in the third round of the FA Youth Cup for Liverpool against Sutton United, is already playing well above his respective age group, applying his trade in the under-18s Premier League. He made seven appearances in the division for Liverpool last term and has featured in it once for United so far this term. Described as being two-footed, commanding in the air, and jet-heeled, Ennis is, it would appear, a star in the making, although it is important to remember he is only 16. Considering that Ennis had the strength, especially as a young boy, to swap Liverpool for United speaks volumes about his character and, seemingly, his determination to make it to the very top. United manager Oleg Gunnar Solskjaer has frequently been prepared to hand youngsters a chance at senior level since taking over at Old Trafford at almost three years ago, meaning if Ennis continues to tick the right boxes a chance could come his way as he gets older. Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder will lock eyes for the final time before their eagerly anticipated trilogy bout in Las Vegas as they take to the scales on Friday night. The pair will go head-to-head -head once more on Saturday night, having controversially drawn their first encounter in 2018, before Fury destroyed his American counterpart in seven brutal rounds last year. Both camps, who are supremely confident of getting the victory, have indicated this will likely be the final time the pair square off. But first, there is the small matter of the weigh-in, which will certainly offer some insight into just how the fight would play out. Furious trainer Sugar Hill Stewart surprised many by recently stating his fighter will come in 20 pounds heavier than their previous outing, in what would be a career heaviest weigh-in. Meanwhile, Walter's manager Shelley Finkel has promised his fighter will be physically much bigger and stronger for Saturday's matchup. With the intriguing spectacle swiftly approaching, Sports Mail takes you through everything you need to know. Fury and Wilder will weigh in on Friday, October 8 at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, the venue in which the Gypsy King claimed his historic victory last year. The pair are expected to take to the scales at around 10 p.m. BST, or 2 p.m. local time. The long-term rivals will then recuperate for the main event which takes place slightly over 24 hours later on Saturday night, or 5 a.m. on Sunday morning for those in the UK. Unlike the fight itself, the weigh-in will be broadcast for free, with BT Sport showing it live on their YouTube channel. BT TV subscribers will also be able to watch the action on BT Sport 2, which is channel 414 on Sky and 528 for Virgin Media customers. Sportsmail will also be running a live blog, so you can keep up to date with us. Fury has been considerably heavier than Wilder in both of their two bouts to date. In their rematch, 
the Gypsy King came in at 273 pounds, 19.5 stone, which somewhat dwarfed the frame of Wilder, who came in at 231 pounds, 16.5 stone. Both fighters had put on weight since their first encounter nearly three years ago, where Fury came in at 256.5 pounds, 18.3 stone, while Wilder was at just 212 pounds, 15.1 stone. As stated, both fighters are expected to put on weight once more as they take to the scales on Friday evening. Of course, in heavyweight boxing there is no maximum or minimum weight the fighters need to adhere to, but the numbers are still of high importance. For Fury, his weight gain between the pair's first and second encounters proved a smart tactic. After shedding a significant amount of weight having blown up to 27 stone during his two and a half absence from the ring, Fury came a night on his feet, looking to box and move his way to victory. After settling for a draw in the first encounter, Fury switched out trainer Ben Davison for Stewart, subsequently gaining weight and taking the fight to Wilder, putting the American on the back foot. He used his weight wisely, leaning on Wilder throughout and steadily tiring out his eventually exhausted opponent. The worry this time round, however, is that by putting on even more weight, Fury's immense speed will be diminished, making him more susceptible to Wilder's big right hand. As for Wilder, there's no question he looked weak in comparison to Fury in the rematch. He has been seen working hard in the gym throughout his preparation, with a bigger, stronger fighter expected to take to the scales on Friday. As stated, Fury's trainer Stewart has claimed his fighter will come in significantly heavier for the trilogy bout, insisting the weight gain will not be detrimental to his performance. Stewart said, it's not going to be 300 pounds, it's probably going to be like 290 or something but not 300 exactly. Heavier than last time by 20 pounds or so, why not? The bigger the better, the heavier the stronger. He's training with that weight, he's built up. It's not like he's just putting on fat, it's building up muscles. The bigger the better, the heavier the stronger. Meanwhile, Walter's manager Finkel insists his fighter is in the best condition of his career. Fury won't want any more part of him after this, he told the son I guess I've been with him about 14 years now, and this is the best I've ever seen him. From everything combined, including physical and mental. He's stronger physically, mentally really focused on this. I just don't see how Dante's not going to knock him out this time. The fight will get underway at approximately 5 a.m. on Sunday morning, for those in the UK. The time of the main event will, of course, depend on the undercard action, which gets underway from around 12.30 am. Fans will be able to watch the event live on BT Sport Box office at a price of £24.95, and pennies, which is available via BT TV, Virgin TV and Sky. It can also be streamed online via the BT Sport website and the box office app. Again, Sports Mail will be running a live blog, so you can keep up to date with us. Having dominated to a 7th round stoppage victory over Wilder in their February 2020 rematch, it comes as no surprise that Fury is the overwhelming favorite to prevail once more among the bookies. The Gypsy King is at 1-3 to get the win, 3-1 via a decision and EVS by stoppage. Wilder is the significant underdog at 9-4 to emerge victorious, 22-1 on points and 11-4 by stoppage. Meanwhile, a draw is at 25-1. Odds as per bit for incorrect at the time of publication. Thank you for watching our videos, subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.